Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for January 15th through the 21st. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, with that being said, please remember that time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Rules can be reversed so take what applies to you your situation and leave the rest now with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump right in just want to let you know those of you that did not see the all signs read yesterday and channel updates i will be switching your weekly readings to something different we're going to focus more in on what's coming up for you in the weeks ahead or the week ahead of you each week um but this is the last you know between you and them as your weekly i will try and do this um if if you choose if y'all want to i'll take a poll and see who really wants to see this uh reading um still and I'll, I'll work something out how about that so but for now let's go ahead and enjoy the last reading uh weekly reading style that i've been doing for i don't know since i guess my channel started what it feels like but things are shifting and when times change it's like you gotta shift with everything that does um so let's go ahead and take a look at how does gemini feel about the person on their mind mm, not happy with them um so page of cups in reverse the ace of cups in reverse and the ten of cups and then the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you're really evaluating the situation here with the seven of pentacles you are looking at the relationship um how it was presented to you what was presented to you and you don't feel that this person ever loved you you're actually feeling hurt heartbroken and that this person won't express their love you know that they have love for you you've waited long enough but you're seeing that it may never happen so why should should I continue to wait on somebody who's not um, putting in the effort here? So, yeah, I understand. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this person feels about you, Gemini. All right, so two of wands, six of swords, and the queen of pentacles, and then the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person does want to talk to you, so they want to communicate with you about, you know, what happened in the past, so that way they can move on, um, or why they're moving on, um, because it's like they want to fix things. They don't like how it ended or how things are ending, um, but feeling that you know, you're isolating yourself from them or they feel isolated, like, I don't know how to do this, um, but that's what they want to do, okay? So, two of wands, six of swords, queen of pentacles. All right, let's get the connection between the two of you. we had the knight of cups the fool and the seven of swords when it came to love and somebody took a risk it does feel like somebody lied cheat stole from them um yeah if the, i get that you feel cheated because you took a risk in love and what you got out of it was deception this person completely lied about everything or it feels like everything just blew up and okay let's go ahead and clarify Start with this page of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're you're telling me that you feel heartbroken. This person would not express or open up to their feelings. You knew that they loved you and that they have feelings for you, but yet they took off quickly. It's like 
you felt it energetically, but when it came to them actually opening up and telling you, I love you, they would hold back. Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and then the Knight of Swords um, comes out as clarification for that Page of Cups in reverse, as well as the Moon at the bottom of the deck right here. I'm also seeing that, you know, um, where you felt this person would they it's like they would go around actually directly saying i'm in love with you or i love you so much they would say things like you know i love you or i love the way that you dress today i love the way you said this i love this about you but never directly saying i love you and it just did hurt but it, there's also the fact that this person made you feel a certain way and then took that away like a thief in the night so ace of cups in reverse yeah, you feel hurt like you don't have any anything to give to this person right now that love is poured out of that cup some of you might even reverted to drinking a little bit you know to kind of ease the pain um because it was very unexpected and this person took from you they took you know love from you but not only that they also took trust from you and it's made it hard um for you to feel that you could trust again some of you, this has already happened, but I'm getting that y'all are really currently going through it. We have the Seven of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune here. And the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So no love for them. I'm not going to even tell them how I feel. I'm done. You know, they had their opportunity. That time has passed. That's how you feel. And you're ready for what is ahead of you. And I like this because what you're looking towards is all of the things that you could create moving forward and where, you know, um, the universe is going to take you. You're like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just excited. So let's go ahead and clarify this Ten of Cups. And that looks like this is new love here. With this Ten of Cups, All right, so I do see Gemini through the situation where this does bother you still. You're spending time with family to help you get through the situation of, you know, sadness, disappointment of what happened in this relationship with this person who just left and didn't give you answers. Um, and it's helping to bring a balance um, back to you which is really good here and it's making you feel like the more that you give to relationships that are meaningful to you the more that you're um, receiving the same kind of love and energy back and that feels really good there's also the fact that there there is somebody who is in love with you coming up but because of what happened in the past in another relationship you're going to take your time and just wait and not really you know, go for it. You're just going to see, you, you're not pushing it away. I see you giving to this relationship or this, we'll call it a situationship for now because you don't want the relationship right now because of what you've gone through in the past. You need time to, to just kind of find that harmony. Um, and you still want to be friends with whoever this person is. You think they're amazing and then that's fine. So you will give to the situation. It's going to be equal give or take, but you're not trying to, um, make them think that there's a relationship there just like that because of the healing you need to do. So let's go ahead and clarify this two of wands, how this person feels about you. So this person, they want to talk to you about, okay, let me just start with this. They've made a plan to end things because they've thought about it and it's made a lot of logic and they've been very strategic of how they're going to do it. Um, 
but they're taking their time. Like they take their time to get there to tell you, right? Um, and I feel like that's what they want to talk about. They want to talk about why things ended and, and give you the truth and fairness and that it had to do with the deception, the sneakiness. So they're saying like, I wasn't the only one you did it too. So this is why I left like this. Um, and that ace of pentacles, I get that this person's not going to completely tell you that they wanted a fresh new start, new beginning here, because that's what I'm picking up on is that new beginning, them planting a seed elsewhere. Now, maybe for some of you, Gemini, they're saying, Hey, you planted a seed elsewhere and that's why I left. But it just, you know, you have to decide which is your situation and which is not. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the six of swords, but that's why they still want to talk about this. They might be moving on with somebody older, but it looks like they're giving this person a second chance because they've already, like they knew them and someone that they didn't talk about or they won't tell you about, they refuse to give you any information about. Um, I don't, I won't say that there wasn't cheating or anything like that because that could be for some of you. Um, Six of Swords is clarified by the King of Pentacles judgment card and the sun right here. So they, it's like they need to, to say what they need to say so they can move forward in this new beginning and move on and try and be happy and you know feeling like i'm a different person however they don't want to talk about you know what happened between you and them ever again it's like they don't want to talk about it they just need to say what they need to say and then move on okay let's go ahead and clarify this queen of pentacles So they do end up meeting somebody new here and this person that they meet, um, that's new. Okay. So they start nurturing this connection with this person and they take this leap of faith and that new person puts a sword up. Okay. So we have the fool, the queen of swords and the ace of swords, and then the chariot is at the bottom of the deck. So whoever they're, you know, dealing with coming up um in the near future here they are being met with i'm not putting up with any bs and um whoever this is is calling them out and they either choose to stay or they choose to go um let's get the outcome between you and this person All right, we have the four of swords, the eight of pentacles, and the knight of wands. So yeah, you know, it just feels like a breakup here. There could be potential um, for this person to find a reason to come back and try and talk to you. However, at this point, there's a break in the communication. The focus is more on you and really pushing yourself ahead through things that you don't know what's going to happen. But with that moon, you are curious here. It's like, you know, not knowing exactly what is ahead whenever things aren't really revealed and you can make a plan. However, you're excited about it. And I do like that for you. So let's go ahead and get an Oracle message for you, Gemini. What do you want Gemini to know about their reading? It says, have faith, trust your faith in this situation. Everything is going to work out and everything is going to move you in the right direction. I like all the butterflies because it's telling me that change, transition, and transformation are all taking part here and they are lifting you up and carrying you to something so much better and the union of hearts a love connection defies explanation this feels like either the one that you just left that felt but it didn't feel like it broke you in that way so but it did hurt absolutely but the one coming up where it feels like true love and somebody who really wants to be with you and it, it feels like it's a little difficult to give them your time because you haven't healed this past situation completely yet you need to um take your time and to do that that's what you're choosing to do is i need to heal first before i can give anyone um love 
but that union of hearts might be the one that defies explanation, um, just kind of happens. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.